This is round 15 of Blackstone Fortress. Things are not looking good. Amelin, Shadow Guide, removed off the board. Heroes, clustered in a bottleneck situation. Luckily, Pius Vorn has two Inferno markers placed on the board that don't go away until her next activation. As luck will have it, I'm sure she's probably <laughs> the top. She's probably right here, so they're going to be taken away immediately. But ideally, what would happen is that these this is the Traitor Guardsmen, and they'll just run into the Inferno Markers, or at the very least, the, the Spindle Drones. But for now, they're there. So we do have a little bit of a trap rigged. We've got ghouls waiting around the corner. It's really bad. The portal that I have targeted is this one here. This, this Maglev Chamber right here. Now, at the end of the, la the previous turn, I forgot to roll an event die. So I'm going to roll that now before anything else. It's a 16, which I think is okay. I don't think I mind a 16. Yeah, 16 is a good one. Inspiration. The leader picks an explorer. That explorer receives an inspiration point. Okay. Well, I think the leader is going to pick Jaina, Jaina's Strake. He now has two inspirations. What does that get him? Anything? Uh, for two... For two um, inspirations, he can attempt a gambit without spending an activation dice. For one point, he can reroll an action dice. It really doesn't get good until you get three inspirations. That's honestly, that's that's when it gets good. But we're not there yet, and I, it's not looking like we're gonna get there. But anyway, that's the best. Po I mean, that's for me the best possible result for an event die. Honestly, I mean that's just really good. All right, so we'll roll some. Destiny die. Ignoring the duplicates. Wow, there are three duplicates. This is really, really rubbish for Destiny dice so far. That's... I had, what, four twos last time, I think it was? And now I'll roll activation dice. And I need a lot fewer <laughs> activation dice than, than I have lately, unfortunately. Because Amelin is no longer with us. Tadius, what did you get? Four... Three, two, so two, three, four. Not great. Um, next up would be Pius. Roll well, Pius. Five, four, and two. Not as well as I would have liked. And then Janus Drake is actually unwounded now because he did a vitality roll previously. So he gets all of his activations. Two, two, two. Oh yeah, and a five. He can roll a free gambit if he needs to. But let's look at what the order actually is. Janus Drake is first again. Wow. Pius Vorn is second. Yeah, see, I told you. Uh, and then Tadius, And then Hostile Group. And then Amelin. What's Amelin doing in there? And then Hostile Group. And then Hostile Group. Wow. First up, Janus Drake. We need to get... <laughs> we need to get sort of toward the exit here. <laughs> I really think at this stage, that is our primary goal. I really think that that's our primary goal. So we are going to use a 2 to move Janus Drake 1, 2. We're going to use another 2 to move Janus Drake 2. And now he's adjacent to these ghouls. So he's got a 5 and a 2 to spend. With a 2, he can do um, a pistol or rapier attack, or pistol and rapier attack. And then with that, with that 5 that he's got, he can actually do a flurry of blows and attack three times. So I think he'll just do that. So he's 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 adjacent to his his targets. So he's going to take one attack with a d8. Is it 1d8 or 2d8s? 1d8. So that converts this into a grievous wound for that guy and then he gets to make three d8 attacks thanks to his five. And that's one hit again, so he just killed that guy. And then he still gets one more attack with this flurry of attacks. And that's a critical. So that's really good. So this ghoul only has one more wound left. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I'm kind of thinking of just using this six to do another flurry of attacks. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. That's one hit, which means that this guy is dead. 
So I'm thinking, yeah, that was the right thing to do. Now, he's just removed six, six wounds off of the board. So he gets to roll an, an, an uh, inspiration die. And if he gets a one, two, three, four, five, or six, he gets an inspiration point. <laughs> he got a seven. Oh, that's so annoying. That's just so bad. Oh, he could have he could have been inspired. He could have flipped his card and, and powered up. Oh well. He didn't. What are you gonna do? Okay, so next up I think was Pious, which means that she removes those Inferno tokens. At least that's in theory what it's supposed to mean. But let's just look at what she's got here. She's got a 2, 4, and a 5. For a 4 up, she can just place those Inferno tokens again. So they stay there. She just kind of squeezes that trigger on her flamer and refreshes the flames. And she's good to go. And I think at this point, I'm going to have her do a, a, a tactical retreat, I think is what we'll call it. And she'll go one, two, three, backing up through the corridor. And now she's got a five, and she's going to overwatch that five. I love Pius Vorn. I mean, legitimately. She is just the best, the best character. She's just so good. Tadius, the purifier. Okay. I just feel like, I feel kind of like empowered but also like we're really really just running for our lives right now um all right let's spend a two for tadius and get him moving spend a three for tadius and get him moving oops sorry pious one two oh, wait how does this work one two here we go that's how that works um and should he just keep moving i mean he could just keep moving right like one and a four, so let's just go one, two, one. Oh, wait. Hmm. Ah, sorry. Tedious. All right, so he's he's actually going to stop here. He's going to pause. Because we do, I mean, we got to search, right? We got to search. Come on, give me a break. Can't not search. I know I'm being greedy right now. I, <laughs> we could not search. We could just keep going. Keep going for our lives. But... I don't know. We're here. You know, you, you don't go to the Blackstone Fortress every day. Might as well look around. Two. That's the ghouls. So we have to roll four reinforcements for the ghouls. Twelve. That's a fail. Now there's a special rule in place because there's no hostile groups here. Blackstone gets a little something. Endless hordes. Reroll reinforcement rolls if hostile reinforcements fail to arrive. So that this is a reroll. Now, I, I don't remember reading anywhere in the rules, but I'm imagining, I know this is in, like, Warhammer 40,000 rules. A reroll means you reroll once. Like, you don't get to just keep rerolling. So, the phrase reroll means do a reroll. A reroll. Uh, and that's a 19, so still no reinforcements, ghouls. I mean, because, yeah, it would be stupid to say, oh, you just keep rerolling, keep rerolling, because then it's like, well, yeah, eventually you're going to get a reinforcement, so why not just say, Reinforcements magically reappear no matter what. Yeah, okay, so that makes sense. So no, re no, no reinforcements for the Urghuls uh, this time. Three, that's the, that's the Traitor Guardsmen. So we have to roll for their action. And it's an eight. Referring to their, the back of their card. States that an eight. So they're... They're hidden. They, 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 they're not in view of the heroes. And so they do an advance move, which is frankly, that's the least threatening one. But um, for them, it's one, two. One, two. Oh, wait, is it two or three? Well, it doesn't. It's two. Uh, what are the, I don't know. One, it doesn't matter, I guess. Because one, two, yeah. No matter what they do, they're on. So the whole guard's and just, I guess they're convinced that the intruders, the explorers are right there. So they're just going right through the flames. They don't care. But the result there is that I get to do a D8 attack against one, two, three, four, five traitor guardsmen. 
Okay, so that's one damage and one miss. I, I'm not going to be able to remember this, so I may as well do the markers as I go. And these obviously are on unique Trader Guardsmen, so that's one damage, one miss. One damage, one miss. And then, uh, I think, one, two, three, four, five, one more. And a critical. So they have two wounds. So this little straggler here with a club and a bolter, it looks like. Is that a bolter? Oof, that would have been... Is that a bolter? Yeah, that's a bolter. That would have been tough, a bolter pistol. Uh, that would have been bad, potentially. But he burns alive instead, so it's not so bad for me. So that means that Pius Vorn indirectly removed two wounds, uh, and she got a two. So that's an inspiration point for Pius Vorn. That's exciting. I mean, vaguely exciting. It's it, it starts her out right. I mean, it, it's got her on the path toward inspiration. So that's cool. And then of course the little spindle drones get to go as well. They got a fourteen. According to the back of their card, that is an advance again. They just advance because they're not within view. Now they only have a speed of two as well, so one, two. They're narrow, narrowly escaping being burned alive. Oh, you know what though? I need to roll reinforcements for the Trader Guardsmen because um, six, four. I think four actually does. Pretty sure that 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 means they get reinforcements. Pretty sure. Uh, what are these? These are medium or small? There's no. Those are the drones. What are the trader guardsmen? Yeah, trader guardsmen are small creatures. And so when a small creature rolls a f uh, oh a four, nope, four plus is nothing. Cool. I thought for sure four was something. Four plus is nothing. Okay. Cool. Now I need to roll a no no more. Nobody else to activate. Uh, one. Oh dear, that's not good. One. All is dust. If any discovery markers are still on the battlefield, the leader must discard one of them. If there are no discovery markers, each explorer loses one inspiration point to a minimum of zero. Well, um, there are, and I will remove. I'll remove one. I mean, I'm not going to remove the one that Taddeus is standing on, right? I mean, that'd be silly. That's not so bad. I can I could do that. I could do that three times. Well, no. One, two, twice. Twice and still be happy. Okay. Cool. So that's discovery uh, markers or one, one discovery. I mean, they, they were I'm not I wasn't going to go back over there. I we got to get out of here. I'm I'm afraid. I am running for my life. I think that her Overwatch Pius Vorn had Overwatch activated. I think that goes away. Does that no, that goes away on her activation, right? Yeah, probably. Cool, so that's that round. Not bad. I, I think we can get out of here, I do, optimistically. I think that Taddeus is gonna move up and summon the chamber. They're gonna rush into it, and then we're out. We're done. We're gone. <laughs> I I just I cannot cannot be bothered. We have a lot of discovery. We we've found a lot of stuff in this expedition. I think it's worth getting out of here. Seeing if Amelin is alive, taking away some grievous wounds, that's the smart thing to do. That'll happen, you know, in the future. Thanks for watching.